when I graduated from high school, which was 1954, I thought, what should I do? There was an advertisement, the academy, Naval Academy of South Korea, uh, accepting applicants. And I thought, wow, if I go there, maybe I can get educated and the career and all that. So I, I took the test. There were about 2,000 applied. 2,000 applied. And 360 accepted. I was lucky to be accepted. The physical test, mental test, all kinds of tests. And I thought I was crazy. I said, that's my future. You know, future is guaranteed. Education, the career, and all that. Then the same year, called the Foreign Language College of Korea, promising they will educate, produce future diplomats, economists, linguists, uh, educators, and all kinds of things. So I took the test and was accepted. So I went there. In Korea in those days, it took a lot of money to tuition. My father was very poor, so, but my father said, if you want to go to college, I'll help you whatever I can. So I, applied, I, I enrolled first year. And it was so much money. I, my father and mother both were working menial jobs and all that. I said, I don't want this. So I said, maybe I can go to America. So I wrote to American colleges, 10 schools. Do you know how I found the name is? They're called the Walter Almanac. All piece of Walter Almanac I got from friend. I picked it randomly 10 schools and wrote. And two schools replied. And uh, one of them says, I'll give you a scholarship, full tuition scholarship. It was actually University of, University of uh, St. Thomas in Houston, Texas, Catholic school. But then I was also, uh, when I was uh, my freshman in college in, in Seoul, I sang in the choir. It's a, it's a religious choir, and it was mostly college students, a few semi-professionals, but mostly college students were majoring in music, but I, I loved the music all the time, so it was a cappella choir. And uh, I joined the choir, and we sang in the U.S. Army, 8th Army Chapel, every Sunday morning. The, the Army bus would pick us up, our choir members, at 7 o'clock in the morning, and come to chapel by eight o'clock. Then we have a cup of coffee and hot dog, and uh, the, the donut, and then worship at nine o'clock. And we sing the you know sing our anthem, and that was a routine. And the chaplain there, army chaplain, who knew my desire to go to America, he helped me to get a scholarship from Christian College, where his former professor of the of the seminary was now the president of the college. So he wrote to him and the president says, okay, we'll give Young Cheng Ha full, full tuition scholarship. So that's how I went to this college in Eugene, Oregon, Northwest Christian College. And uh, so when I went there, they gave me a full tuition scholarship and gave me a job working in the uh, uh, student cafeteria. So my meal was taken care of. The, uh, and also there was a job in the uh, nearby Catholic hospital where they needed a dishwasher. So I paid $1 an hour. And I would work four hours a day, six days a week, from four to, uh, four to eight. Uh, that, that was my, my income. And so I had a school tuition, free job, part-time job. And I was able to went through the school. And in the summertime, I had a job in Northern California, one of my classmates. 
invited me to go to him. I worked in a sawmill as a laborer. And it, in those days, I got $2 an hour. So I, I saved money, about $500 every month, every summer, and take that to school. And, and so I managed to graduate. And then, and then went to seminary after that. Again, I received a tuition scholarship. So then I, you know, became uh, ordained and then served the church in Northern California near Fresno. And then I went to school again uh, in Los Angeles area, a uh, place called the Claremont. I was at Claremont School of Theology uh, for two years and uh, doing my postgraduate study. And the Navy was interested in recruiting chaplains. And so they contacted me and said, how about try one? So I said, well, what about if I don't like it? What are they? If you don't like it, you can, you can, you can, you can leave in three years, a three year contract. So I signed up and I was accepted. And I tried the three years. I liked it. And then three years it became six years. And then six years became nine years. And before I realized it, I spent 24 years on active duty. And it was the 10 different duty stations, including Marines, Air, 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 you know, US Navy, Air, 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 Air Force, uh, training stations. It was wonderful experience. And so, so, you know, four or five years of the parish civilian ministry, and then 20, 20, almost 25 years in the military. And after 30 years, then I retired. So to me, it's all a miracle story. Everything is a miracle story. And when I see the map like that, I could have been still in North Korea and probably, you know, dead by now. But uh, the fact that I'm here, and now I, I joined it as a Korean War Veterans Association. I, I see them because I wanted to thank them for their help, service. I would say just to appreciate the freedom that we have because when you are born and raised in a country like this, everything is so free, you don't really know what it means to be without it. You don't know what it means to be hungry. But most important is to be free. Man is created to be free. Uh, it's like an air. I always say this. It's like a fresh air. Without air, you die. So to be a free person living in a free country is a real blessing. And I said to every chance I get, just thank God that we are in a, living in a land of freedom. And don't take freedom for granted.